In this video, I will show you how to make a USA-based TikTok account that can be monetized with the Creator Rewards program or to use TikTok Shop. I personally live in Europe in a country that is ineligible and I've done this method multiple times. So by the end of this video, you have a fully functional US TikTok account that can access all the monetization tools that are normally only for US users. And there are many tutorials on YouTube that don't show the full picture. Sketchy methods that might last for a couple days, but with a high chance of getting banned later. Now our setup is completely legitimate, we're not breaking any rules or doing anything that violates TikTok's terms of service. So let's dive right in. Now I'll take you through all the steps in this whiteboard on how to make a US account from any country, right? So let's start with the beginning. And step one is configuring your phone to the United States. And it's important because TikTok recently made it even harder to do all of this. So please do not skip any of the steps in this process. And the requirements are first, either a new or an older spare phone that you don't use, a US dedicated IP VPN service, a US SIM card, and preferably a new TikTok account. Although older accounts could work as well, I'll get to that later in the video. I will take you through every single step, but don't skip anything. Now I'll quickly also debunk some of the methods that simply don't work anymore that other people tell you that still work. First of all, free VPNs, they don't work, they get you shadow banned. Also using TikTok on your PC or browser, that's really not recommended. Always use a mobile device and not using a US SIM card. This all literally doesn't work and gets you shadow banned instantly like this. So let's go to the first actionable step and that is getting a spare iPhone. Again, this can be an older or used one. As you can see, this phone that I have is pretty beaten up with the screen not even working. That doesn't matter. And you want to factory reset this. And we are going to turn this phone into a US configured phone. So to do that on your iPhone, we first want to go to settings right here. And then from settings, we want to find general and then scroll all the way down and click transfer a reset phone. And you want to click on erase all content and settings to factory reset your phone. Once you've done that, you should see this screen with hello from where we can set up our phone from scratch. Step two is then to order a US SIM card and this is required. What I recommend is just getting a SIM card on Amazon. I will leave a link down below. That would look something like this where you can buy a travel SIM card for the US right here. As you can see, there are many options between usually five and $20. This is the specific one that I got, Leica Mobile, which I put in my phone. Now this SIM card can be deactivated and doesn't need to work. And you don't want to use this number for anything, especially not for creating your TikTok account. Simply what you want to do, you want to put it into your phone and then your phone and TikTok will detect this SIM card and see it is a plus one number, which is American. And they will use that for determining where you're from. And it's a really important step. Then we go over to the next step and that is going through the phone setup part, setting up your phone from scratch and selecting USA. So you want to put in your uh, US SIM card in the phone and then go through the process. So you want to select English, United States, then you can connect to your Wi-Fi here. Now for transfer apps and data, don't transfer anything. And this is where it gets really important with your Apple ID, don't log in with your own Apple ID and don't create an account right here. Don't make this yet. Simply click, don't have an account yet. For the Apple account, click set up later in settings. We'll do that later. Same for the location settings, set up later. Don't enable this. And we really want to make this look like a complete fresh US phone number that hasn't been used before. Now step four is creating an Apple ID and what we want to do, we want to create that on our laptop and PC. For this, we want to use a fake name and a US address. Then we want to add your email and create a password you remember and then log into your phone. So I'll show you how to do that. You simply want to go to iCloud.com and then you want to click on create Apple account. And here we want to set up our Apple account and I would recommend to just use some dummy information. So I will fill this in right here. So here, just fill in your information with an email address you have and then make sure the country is selected the US. But now we have the phone number set up. And for this, you do not want to use the number of your specific SIM card you put in your phone. And that is because it will be disabled usually in seven to 28 days. So what I actually use is a virtual US number SMS receiver that we can fill in here. And it's called receive SMS online. Again, I will leave a link down in the description for you to create your account from where you can rent your own phone number. So I have that right here. As you can see, this is the phone number I am renting. It's a US number. So I simply copy that. I go to iCloud and paste it in right here. And then it will send the code and I can fill in the code from here. 
Then here we want to fill in the human verification and click continue. Now they sent an email to my email address. Let's just fill in the code. And now they're gonna send a message to this phone number. So let's see if we receive it. And we do, there we go. So we copy this code and then paste it in here on Apple and click continue. And there we go, now our Apple ID has been created. Now with the account we just made, you want to go to that newly set iPhone and log in with that Apple account right here. Then there's just one thing left and that is setting up the address inside the United States. For that, I'll open my iPhone. So this is my specific iPhone that I set up with this method. That's why the name is different. But basically what you want to do, you want to go to your Apple ID account and then go to payments and shipping. And then right here, as you can see for the billing address, I just set up a random address in the United States in Michigan. You can find any address online on websites and then just use that and then it will be configured to the United States. Okay, then let's move over to step number five, which is configuring your phone correctly even more. So you want to go back to the settings on your phone again and first type in find my right here and then it's gonna show share my location. You want to make sure this is turned off. Also make sure that Bluetooth is turned off and also cellular data. As you can see for me right here at the top, it's both turned off. Now, all of these things might seem like small details, but TikTok checks all of this information. Every single detail needs to match what a typical US phone would show. Then let's move over to step six. And this is very important using a static US IP. And this is honestly where most people go wrong as you need one static US IP address. And this one will only be used by you and will always be the same IP address because the number one reason why TikTok accounts get banned is because of normal VPN use or not using a VPN at all if you're not in the US. And unfortunately, I hate to say it, but free VPNs will not work. And this is usually what goes wrong. The problem with normal and free VPNs is, on day one, you connect to an IP from LA, then later to an IP from Washington, then New York, then Texas, it's all over the place. TikTok detects this, sees unusual activity, and can shadow ban or even restrict your account. This is what we're actually after. We need one static US IP address, that you use all the time. So this is one US IP address only used by you. So TikTok basically thinks it's your house with a US configured phone, they would have no reason to flag you. So then that bears the question, how to set up a static US IP address. And the easiest to do that is by using a service with a dedicated IP setup. Personally use NordVPN without any issues. Complicated proxy setups with like local installs and so on work well, but it's a very complex setup. For me and most people, an easy tool like Nord is the best. This is then how it would look like inside your Nord account once you got it. I'll leave a link down below, I'll show you how to get it. You want to make sure the dedicated IP is selected under services. Then from here, we want to connect to a location and choose it. So there are a couple of them in the US. We also have some in Germany, Canada, obviously don't choose those. It doesn't really matter, you can go with LA, Miami. I personally went with New York. Then once you select that, you're gonna get this, your own IP address that no one else uses, your location, for me, New York, and your server code, which for me was United States, hashtag 10197. And you want to remember this service number because we need it in the next step. To get this dedicated IP, you want to go to the link in the description, which will bring you to this page from where you can click get NordVPN. Then you can simply choose any package that you want. And what is important now is right here that you want to add the dedicated IP right here. It's gonna cost a little more, but it's absolutely worth it and necessary. Now let's actually get NordVPN installed on our phone. So for that on your phone, you want to go to the App Store, obviously, and then here search for NordVPN and you want to make sure to install this. As you can see, I already installed it, so I'm gonna open it. And now we want to find our dedicated IP. So at the top, it's gonna say search connection and you want to search for the specific server code that you had. As you can see for me, it was hashtag 10197. So you search for that and then it's gonna appear as the dedicated IP in the US. It's this one right here for me in New York, but for you, it's gonna show yours. Now, when we then take a look, we should be connected right here to that IP address and we have our dedicated IP turned on. Now, this connection should stay on all the time. Never disconnect from this VPN while using TikTok. Then the next step is also crucial and often very underlooked as well. And that is matching the time zone with your US dedicated IP location. So if you choose a Miami IP, you want to change to Miami time zone with New York to a New York time zone. So as you can see for me, it's New York. We simply want to go to settings 
and then we want to type in date and time at the top and then here as you can see i manually set it to new york as you can see in new york it's now 5 a.m where i live it's 11 a.m because i live in europe but this is simply where you can type that in so let's say you want to change to miami just connect it right there so your us ip address matches with the time zone now two important rules make sure your static ip again is always turned on really important and never remove this sim card and that is also why i recommend to do this on a second or spare phone as doing this on your main phone can really be a pain in the ass. Then we download TikTok, the time is there. And if it says plus one on the account creation, it works. As you can see, this is what we're looking for. So let's open TikTok and see if it worked. So from TikTok right here, you want to click on sign up and then click use phone or email. And now I'm gonna select the date of birth, just like that, click continue. And as you can see, it says US plus one, which means that this setup has been done correctly. Now, preferably create a new account. That will be much better. You can also use an older account if you want to, but it can take about seven days to maybe three weeks, usually around that range, to transition to a US audience and US settings. So that can take some time. Also, when you create a new account, warm it up. Don't post in the first 72 hours. Build it up slowly so TikTok doesn't flag it. Now to create the account, don't use the phone number of your US travel SIM card. This is so important because again, that SIM card will not be active. What I will use is the website again, the receive SMS website right here. I will fill this in to create my account right here as that is perfect and also what I would recommend for you to do. So just like that, I'll click on continue. Then the code has been sent. So yes, instantly. So I fill in the code right here, 5476. Then I'll create a password and then click on continue. Then I'll create a nickname and click continue once again. And now let's check our for you page. So all of this seems quite US based. Now we can also see the comments. They should be all English, yes. Now, if this is in your native language, so if it would be Dutch for me, that means that something went wrong, but it seems that it all went correctly, which is a really good sign. Now let's check the monetization options as if they're US based. So let's go to profile and right here, I will go to TikTok studio and then it should show the creator watch program under monetization right here. And yes, it does. It shows creator watch program right here. Now, as you can see, I still don't have the threshold, but it's now available and it wouldn't be available in my own country. Same with TikTok shop. I can now open a TikTok shop here as well. So really good. We did it all correctly. Now you can start setting up this account to your liking and actually use those services. But again, don't be too greedy. Don't start posting straight away. You need to build this up slowly. So to keep this account long term, never change your IP address. Always log in with your SIM card in the phone and with the dedicated IP in there. Also, don't link any of your foreign social media accounts to this TikTok profile to keep it clean and US based. Now, this setup takes some effort and investment, but it's the only method that consistently works in 2025 and beyond. TikTok has gotten so much better at detecting fake setups, so you need to be thorough with every step. Now, for all the resources we used, I'll leave links down below in the description. And if you now want to join the Creator Awards program or join the TikTok Shop Affiliate program, I'll refer you to these videos, also my channel, and for them, I will also leave links down below. And if you run into any issues with this setup, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you troubleshoot. I know this process can seem overwhelming at first, but once you get it set up correctly, it works without any issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And good luck with your US TikTok setup.